Hey guys, it's Infinite Dice, giving you an update on ICE. It's uh, the mod that I'm working on, internal combustion engines. Um, it also includes wheels and drivetrain and uh, airplane engines. Uh, uh, the first release was airplane engines, and now I'm expanding it to vehicle engines with wheels uh, and driveline. So in this video, I just want to uh, um, take a drive over to Kerbin City. And I believe that's a hundred kilometers somewhere in that direction. I've never been there before. I've I've definitely um, never driven there before. So um, with the module, the uh, this is a placeholder uh, engine here. Um, this is the generator I made for version one of ICE. Um, but it acts uh, in this uh, with a CFG edit. It acts like an automobile engine, and it outputs power. And it outputs power. Uh, it gives it to this little module here, the transmission. takes the takes the power from the engine, puts it through gears. You're able to shift through those gears and affect the torque, um, uh, the gearing of uh, the, the, uh, that that's being put out to the wheels, which in turn, you know, changes how the wheel will behave when it contacts the ground. So I'm just going to start it. And you do that by simply cracking the throttle open a little bit, just like the ICE engine. Turn on electrics, turn on fuel, start the engine. And because this is like essentially a little, uh, you know, um, lawnmower engine or whatever you want to call it, a, ge a generator, it only has one exhaust port, so all the, uh, all the exhaust comes out of that one port. Um, I have another engine where the exhaust ports actually, you know, you're going to get one per cylinder. Anyways, to keep this short, um, we simply take off the brake, put it in first gear, and off we go. Now, <coughs> I am working my way up the hill here. As you can see, the KSC is right back there. What you want to do is you want to be very careful. I set the suspension level high on this. Um, so that it can contact, the, you know, have a lot of clearance to the ground. Uh, you don't want to scrub too much. You also have to keep the speed down a little bit. Um, what you what you don't want to do is you don't want to, um, because the wheels can take impact damage. Is if you're using skillful, for example, um, you you don't want to batter the wheels. Uh, you could break the wheel, uh, and you'd have to repair it using skillful. Whoa, do not crash. Oh god, I gotta slow down. One other thing to remember is if you're in a higher gear, like I was in fourth gear there, you can't really climb a hill in fourth gear. You're gonna have to back shift to get more torque on the wheels to get up the, up the hill. So in, in this case here, it's just like I want to just gently get up and over these, these tough spots here because I don't want to tip over. Now the good thing about... Whoa. Okay. This is not good. I can't slow down. Now on extreme slopes like this, you're going to get wheel spin and you're going to get traction loss. You're better off with more than more, uh, a standard four by. This is like a. This is like rear wheel drive. So you're going to want to. Um, ooh, wheelie. So I had a little bit of an accident. I rolled it. I don't think I want to drive this whole thing because, as you can see, I'm about here. And after almost 15, about 15 minutes of driving, I've gone this far and I have to go all the way over there. So it's just not, you know, it'd take two or three hours to do this or something. Um, probably two hours to drive this. Uh, so because there's no highway here and I can't, you know, autobahn it over there, I'm going to have to... Uh, Either fly my my uh, my car over there, or uh, take a boat. Um. Whoa. This plane is pathetic. Let's try this again. Full power. What I've done was I've, I've elevated the wheels a bit. See, I don't know what these wheels are doing. I think they're pulling away from one another. It's creating a very bad scene, so... I can't seem to take off quick enough. Here we are. Oh boy. This could be 
dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, right on the road. Nice. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's try not to screw it up this time. First we'll do a quick save. <laughs> okay. Let's just do a nice easy tour. Um, do this way, actually. Whoa. falling in the water. First ever burnout. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So now we're here, we have nice roads to drive on. Oh no 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 no! kidding me? Check out this side of the bay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to turn that quickly. Okay. Take our exit here. What's this? Flat open? Anybody who's driven out to uh, this Kerbin City and has actually tried to circumnavigate this uh, bay that divides the two sections will, will probably tell you that the drive is not a simple one in a vehicle. Um, they really need to fix that bridge. <laughs> they need to complete the bridge because um, this is a nightmare. But anyway, I've lost uh, a couple cars uh, driving out here already. Um, I mean, the car handles well, it's just, it, 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 the problem is, it's very unforgiving, the fact that, like this, see that? You make one mistake, and you're out of the game. So now I have to, uh, start all over again. Oh! So I did make it, eventually. Um, I'm on the other side. I circumnavigated through the mountains and made it to the other side of the bay.
crashed. <laughs> Classic. So part of it is uh, knowing to use how much throttle in certain situation. When uh, when you're when you're jaunting back and forth like this and you're breaking the traction, it'll slide fairly readily. When they bind up and they become planted and you do a sudden turn, they want to tip more. So you have to kind of prep yourself up for a corner here. Um, it also depends what gear you're in and how much throttle you have down.